Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm going to show you how I made this altered paper clip using an old book page, acrylic paint, some punched shapes, as well as some flowers that I painted with some tattered angels, and I'll show you how easy it is to place these little gemstones onto pieces of work like this. The first thing that I've got is, this is just a page out of a book, and I believe it is one, two, three, four, five, six, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six by nine in size, and here's what I found. If I take this page and fold it in half, and I'm just doing the technique where you crease it really well, and then I'm gonna tear this in half, so now I have two pieces, and I'm going to take this piece and fold it in half, and then I'm going to fold this in half again. So I'm just kind of looking at it to see which side I like better. And I'm going to do that with both pieces. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to use the Best Glue Ever by Scrap Perfect, and I'm going to put just a small bead across the edge on one side. And then I'm going to fold this close, and that'll keep these two pieces together. Then I've got a paper clip here, and I want this to be my front, so I'm going to put the smallest side of the paper clip in the middle, and this is the back. And then I'm going to take my Best Glue Ever by Scrap Perfect, and I'm going to Put a little bit of glue inside here. It doesn't need a whole lot. And I've got too much up here, so I'm just spreading it out. And I'm gonna make sure to put some glue around the paper clip so that it will be adhered in place. And then I'm gonna close this up. So I'm gonna repeat that on the other one. All right, so I've just laid down a scrap of paper below, and then I have some just craft paint, simple craft paint. It's, this is by Anita's. It was like normally three bucks for an eight ounce. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this, and I've got an old, this is a Hobby Lobby gift card. I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the paper, and then I'm gonna use this credit card or gift card to spread the paint around. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this really quick. It'll dry fast anyway, but I want it to dry a little bit faster. I have a stencil that I made, and I offer these in my shop. And I have a tutorial that shows you how to make stencils. But what I'm doing now is I'm just going to lay this over the top of this. And then I've got some antique white craft paint. And then this time... I have a little foam brush, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the paint. I don't need a whole lot, but I just need a little bit. And I'm going to use this foam brush, and I'm going to hold the stencil down, and then just paint over that. And I'm okay that it doesn't have perfect coverage. I just want a little bit of the design. All right, I'm going to wash my tools, and then I'll be right back. I have my little paper flowers, so these are just plain paper flowers that I picked up a while back and I like to get white or ivory colored ones because then I can make them whatever color I want. So I have a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. One is simply sheer so it just is a matte mist. There's no mica in it. And then I have a glimmer mist which has mica in it. I have black cherry and strong pink. So since this one has mica in it I have to shake it. And the other one I'm just shaking just so the color is throughout the whole thing in case there's any clumps in there. And I'm just going to spray these a few times with both of these colors. I'll use my heat tool to dry them and then I'll move on. So I have my flowers laid out here. I even have some white ones and then I have some shapes that I've made. This one I made on my crick or silhouette. I type the word and then tell it to cut it out. These are 
punches that I have and I've just used some leftover scraps so I'm going to go around the edges of these with some distressed inks so I can get them ready for the next portion so I have some picked raspberry and vintage photo and blending tools these are by Ranger and I'm going to use this pink and go around the pink label this pink label is from EK Success and it was a label punch that I picked up I think at Hobby Lobby and I've really liked it it's been really handy to use with scraps of paper instead of just tossing the whole thing away I can punch out a few shapes and then use these for elements on my junk journals or cards or whatever I want so I'm going to start layering these up. I'll zoom in on one so you can see how I put it together. So here is my altered paperclip piece that has the paperclip on the back side. The first thing that I'm going to do is take the label and I'm only going to put glue on almost half of it and I'm going to stick that where it is coming off of the page. Then I'm going to take the circle, put that down somewhat in the center. I'm going to add a heart over to the side. I'm going to add the word inspire, kind of overlapping everything. Okay. And then I've got a bigger flower, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back side of it and pressing it down. And then I've got a white flower that I didn't color, so I could have a little contrast. And then I've got another pink flower that I'm going to overlap down here. I've got a little dragon, dragonfly, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back side. And then I'll place this down. I have supplies here to make a second one, so I'm going to do that as well here in just a moment. I'm going to take Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint. This is found in the fabric department, where the, not fabric, in the t-shirt making department. And it's four bucks for a four ounce bottle as opposed to the little stickles and I like it because it's clear and I don't really care that that there's other colors out there so I'm just going to put a little bit on the centers of the flowers and then I'm going to go around the edges of the flowers you see that Get just a little bit closer Go right around the edge and I'm okay if it's a little bit messy it really looks cool when it's dry because right now you're just seeing the white but this dries clear and has a really pretty iridescent glimmer to it and I'm going to go right around the edge of the white flower just a little bit and that'll add some sparkle there and then I'm going to go around this pink label. Then I've got some embelly jelly. So the idea is that this is a sticky little blob here that you can use to pick up things and place them where you want. So I have a little box of gems here. I'm going to grab a couple. I'm going to use the and belly jelly and make this so you can see where I'm picking up one of the gems with the embelly jelly so that's on the end there and then I'm just going to use that to place it right where I want it makes it so much easier than trying to pick up those little tiny gems to place them where you want and I'm just using my stick to press it down into the glitter paint so that's how you put it together and here is one that the glitter paint has dried so you can see how that looks and how it looks on the edges there so they turned out pretty cute don't you think and this was just using scraps and some flowers that I had in my stash you could probably use punched flowers if you have some paper punches you can hand cut some flowers you can hand cut all these shapes and then just using some acrylic paint and using the best glue ever as well as the embelly jelly to add the rhinestones 
it's something simple that you can make from your stash. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this video of how to make this altered paper clip using acrylic paint and a few other supplies. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Get my hand in there. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know the next time I put up a video. Check out the description box for links to all the things that I use today, including my blog post, and of course my social media connectors, including my Facebook groups that I manage. Thanks so much for everybody for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a crafty, fabulous day. Bye.